Today's video is sponsored by Pianote. Are you sick of trying to plunk out musical ideas on your MIDI controller by trial and error? Do you wish you had a practical working knowledge of music theory, scales, and chord structure, and keyboarding skills? Or maybe you just want to learn to play the piano for fun? If the answer is yes to any of those questions, Pianote could be perfect for you. Pianote offers online video lessons you can watch at any time, along with real teachers who will support you every step of the way. They have foundational lessons, as well as intermediate and more advanced lessons, and also song-specific lessons that teach you how to play piano versions of popular songs. So if you're looking to take your keyboarding, songwriting, and producing skills to the next level, head over to pianote.com. Subscriptions start at just $19 a month. Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Quick Sampler for beat slicing or loop slicing. So this is where you can drop in a drum loop, slice it up into a bunch of pieces, and then resequence it with the step sequencer. This takes advantage of one of the new features in Logic 10.7, which allows you to convert MIDI regions to pattern regions. But the loop slicing functionality has been in Quick Sampler prior to Logic 10.7. And someone in the comments actually uh, gave me this idea and uh, tipped me off to it. I didn't even know that you could do this. So let's get right into it. So I've got a, a string section here with violins, viola, cello, and bass. And right now it sounds like this. And by the way, I've included a free download link to this exact Logic session in the comments below if you want to follow along with me in this tutorial. Okay, so I have a loop here that I like in Splice, but you could get the loop anywhere. It doesn't have to be in Splice. It could be something from Logic's loop library or something you found elsewhere on the internet. So I like the tone and I like sort of the groove of that, but I, I want to change it up a little bit. So I'm just going to drag this in. And the first thing I could try doing is just stretching this out to be exactly eight bars long. And you can do that just by holding option, hovering over the right side of the loop and then just dragging it out and snapping it right to eight bars. <laughs> So that's pretty cool, but the drum groove doesn't quite lock in with the strings. So I want to sort of chop this up and resequence it and make it my own thing. Now, something I've shown before on this channel is that you can easily take any drum loop or any audio file, drag it over into the track header area, and you can drag this into Quick Sampler, uh, original or optimized. I'm just going to use the original. And if it doesn't automatically load this up in slice mode, just click on slice here. And what this will do is it will detect the transients in the loop and put a different note, a different MIDI note starting on C1 for each slice. Now, we're not going to need nearly this many slices because most of the sounds I'm looking for happen just in the first half of this beat. So one thing you could do if you know that you're not going to use any of this material over here is you can trim that up. And really, that's I think about there is uh, where I need to be. Now, the part that's new to me is that you can hover over the bottom part of the quick sampler interface here, and you can actually drag this right into your tracks area. And this will cut up that beat into individual MIDI notes, similar to the convert to sampler function that was present in earlier versions of Logic with the EXS24, and it's now available there for the sampler. This is a similar function to just, you know, right clicking and selecting convert to new sampler track. But I think it's a bit quicker um, to work this way, especially if there's very noticeable transients in the loop. If you're working with something that's not quite as transient heavy, you may have to do some, some manual cutting to get it to work. So let's just delete the original drum loop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one step further. And this is where the new Logic 10.7 function comes in. I'm going to convert this from a MIDI region over to a pattern region. So you just right click or control click, go down to convert and select convert to pattern region. Now, if this option is grayed out, it probably means that you need to shorten the MIDI region or maybe cut it in half because there's too many steps to create a pattern region. So it looks like we're good. So I'll just click convert to pattern region and it converts it over to the step sequencer. Now, what I like to do at this point is 
I like to reset this because I don't want all of these notes with all of these ties and these different lengths. So what I'll do is go up to functions and select clear pattern. And now I have quick access to each of those sample slices within quick sampler. Okay, so off screen, I created not one, but two different drum patterns out of my sliced up quick sampler loop. And the cool thing about using the step sequencer is you can also tap into some of these other functions like the note repeat, which is great for you know creating trap style rapid hi-hats. <laughs> So that's how you can use Quick Sampler to slice up loops and then resequence new drum patterns using the Step Sequencer in Logic Pro 10.7. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Again, if you're interested in learning more about music theory and keyboarding skills in a more formal way with self-paced video lessons, don't forget the sponsor of today's video, Piano. The single most important thing I ever did to improve my songwriting, production, and arrangement skills was not a new piece of gear, not a new computer, not a new plugin. It was learning how to play the piano. And that's the great thing about piano. You can learn all of your fundamentals and then move on to intermediate or even advanced courses and apply what you've learned to your own songs, beats, and compositions. So if you're interested in signing up, I'll leave a link in the video description below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.